In today's video, I want to introduce a brilliant indicator in TradingView that generates the most accurate buy sell signals ever. Just make sure you watch this video until the end because I'm going to teach you a trading strategy based on this indicator that is very profitable. All right, to add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search BX Trender, this one which is written by someone named Quant Therapy. All right, this is the indicator. And as you can see, it's in the form of an oscillator with some lines and histograms that are moving above and below the center line, which is zero. This line that is fluctuating above and below the center line is BX Trender line. And as you can see, it changes color between green and red depending on the advancing or declining of the price. And there are also some circles on the color changing point, which are actually buy sell signals in this indicator. The red circles are sell signals and the green circles are buy signals. I'll explain later how you can effectively use these signals for trading. Here we have this uh, line and histogram which is actually placed at the back of this indicator and it's BX Trender Trend and this component of this indicator will help us with identifying trends. When the histogram is above zero and green it shows we are in an uptrend and when the histogram is below zero and red it shows that we are in a downtrend and the line of the histogram will help us to know when the trend is weakening. For example, here, while the histogram is red, when the line becomes green, it shows that the downtrend is weakening. It can be because of a pullback or it can be a sign that a reversal is probably going to happen. Also, the distance of the histogram from the center line shows the strength of the trend. When it's far from the center line, it shows that the trend is strong. And when it gradually or suddenly becomes shorter, it shows weakness in the trend. Similarly, in times that when histogram is above zero and green, when the line becomes red, it shows weakness in the uptrend. It can be part of a pullback or it can be a serious weakness of the trend resulting in reversal or trading range, which is the case here. And you can see that the market went to a trading range in this part of the chart. And similarly here, the distance of the histogram from the center line shows the strength of the trend. And when it gradually or suddenly falls and then a short histogram like this forms, it shows serious weakness in the price trend. Please pay attention that the histogram itself also changes color from lighter green to a darker green when this uh, weakness is actually happening. We have also another histogram here in the middle of the indicator which is called BX Trender Oscillator and it shows momentum changing in a shorter term view of the market within the overall trend. This histogram actually shows momentum changing of the BX Trender line. It's a kind of like MACD histogram if you're familiar with. When the histogram Instagram is above zero, it shows we have greater upside momentum. And when it's below zero, it shows we have greater downside momentum. When it's above zero and the bars are increasing, it shows that the upside momentum is gaining strength. And when the bars are decreasing, it shows that the upside momentum is weakening. This histogram becomes a darker green when the bars are decreasing. So you can easily interpret when you're looking at the histogram. Similarly for downside momentum, when the bars are falling, it shows that the downside momentum is gaining strength and when the bars are getting smaller towards zero it shows that the prior downside momentum is weakening here also it changes color when we have a reverse in the momentum so you can easily interpret when you're looking at the histogram all right now let me show you how you can trade based on these buy sell signals generated from this indicator when the histogram is red which is telling us that the trend is down we take sell signals if you remember i've already mentioned that these circles are buy sell signals. The red circles are sell signals and the green circles are buy signals. So in this situation, when we are in a downtrend, whenever we get a sell signal, we enter a short position. When we get these buy signals, we don't care about them because the histogram is red and telling us that we are in a downtrend. And on the other hand, when this histogram is green, when a buy signal happens, we enter a long position. In this situation where this histogram is green telling us that we are in an uptrend we don't care about these sell signals but this is not enough because in situations like when a reversal is happening in the market like this area of the charts we can encounter false signals like this one or this one or this one or in other times when a trend is weakening and the market goes to a trading range like this part of the chart that you can see here in this situation also we may encounter many false signals like this buy signal here or 
or this boy signal here or this cell signal here so we need another layer of filtration that can help us to filter these false signals so here we click on indicators and we search andion oscillator this one which is an editor specs indicator written by alex grover and this indicator will help us to filter the false signals a boy signal is confirmed only if the green line is above the orange line and a cell signal is confirmed only when the red line is above the orange line for example here for this boy signal because green line is not above the orange line it's not confirmed or similarly for this boy signal it's not confirmed or for the cell signal here because the red line is below the orange line so this signal is not confirmed here and we don't enter any short position at this point but for example for these boy signals because the green line is above the orange line they are confirmed and we can enter a long position and here in the reversal point of the market you can see that we could easily avoid these false signals because red line is below the orange line by having another layer of filtration like this many of the false signals can be avoided but we may also lose some good opportunities like this where andion oscillator doesn't confirm the trade this is not negative because we're trying to minimize our risk and avoid false signals as much as possible and only take the signals that have higher probability of getting the expected result please pay attention that this trading setup doesn't generate 100 guaranteed signals and you need to manage your risk properly there is a risk management strategy that is called one percent rule and it's a perfect choice for active trading i have a complete guide on this the link is also placed in the description of this video and i highly recommend you to watch it because risk management is the most important factor in your trading success all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in the next video and good luck with your trading